Oh, it didn't even count me down. That's fine. We're in a new setting and I don't know what it does. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about my top five fantasy book series that I recommend. Now, I just want to put like a massive disclaimer up right now that I won't be talking about the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass, the um, A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass as well, and then any of the Shadow Hunter novels by Cassandra Clare. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not putting those particular book series in this video, it's because if I put them in this video, they would be the only book series in this video. I feel like, because we all know these book series, there is zero point in recommending them because they're well loved. I feel like you guys know I love them, you know I recommend them, of course I recommend them, but I'm not focusing on them in this video because that's not what I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about five series that I love that I don't think are very well known and don't have the recognition that they deserve, and that's why those books are not in this video. Now that that is completely out of the way, I'm just going to get straight into the top five fantasy book series that I recommend. The first series that I'm going to recommend to you guys is written by an Australian author, and that is the Book of Lies series by James Maloney. I actually read this series for the first time when I was in year seven, so when I was like 12, I picked this book up. So you've got the Book of Lies, then you have the second book, Master of the Books, and then the third and final book, which is the book from Baden Dark. I normally say Baden Dark. I don't actually know how to pronounce it properly. I freaking loved this series. I'm just gonna read the blurb off the Book of Lies because it is amazing and it just sums this book up. So, when Lord and Lady's quest for fame, a beast will touch the land with flame. Good men will die, their wives will mourn, while children weep for fathers gone. With swords for teeth and skin of steel, with arid claw and poisoned heel, the beast will grow and spread its wings, destroying rogues and making kings. When all my pages fill with lies, let slip the beast and see it rise, till one who understands this verse commands the beast and breaks its curse. So yeah, it basically focuses on three three children in an orphanage and their journey, and that's all I'm gonna say on it. It's amazing, and I seriously recommend this series by James Maloney. I just I love it. I haven't actually read it in a while. I think I need to like re-pick it up and get back into it. Okay, then the second series that I have for you guys, there are two, four, this is this six? Two yeah, there's six books in this series, so if you're in for a good long haul, it's pretty much set in a week. And that is the Secret of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series by Michael Scott. The first book, which is The Alchemist, The Magician, I hate all these stickers on my books. The Sorceress, The Necromancer, The Warlock. And then finally, The Enchantress. I only particularly want to hold up three books because they're heavy. So basically this series uh, focuses on Nicholas Flamel. And we focus on these two, two, two children called Sophie and Josh who are twins. And they know this elderly couple who are Nicholas and is it Pernell? Pernell? I don't know how to pronounce the name. There's this prophecy about two twins, like I think there's one to destroy the world, one to create the world, something to do with that effect. But yeah, and this this book series is freaking amazing. Oh my god, me and my best friend read it, we love it. Each book focuses on a day, it's very in-depth, you forget that you're only is one day in each book, like if you think how thick some of these are. I cried like you would not believe in The Enchantress, like holy shit, the waterworks were insane. It's amazing, it's so well written, it's so well done. It also brings in stuff to do with Alcatraz, which I freaking loved because I find that stuff so interesting. The characters are so engaging and funny, you fly through it. There's a lot of twists in these books that I did not see coming that were amazing that had me on the edge of my seat. This is making me want to reread them. Third series I have for you guys is the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa. But that obviously features the Iron King, the Iron Daughter, the Iron Queen. I hope I've got these in the right order. I always put them in the wrong, wrong order. And then the Iron Knight. So this focuses on Megan Chase finds out that her father is a fairy king and her entire life changes and this is about her spending time in fairy and all like the crazy adventures that go on. I quite enjoyed it. This is what got me into Julie Kagawa's uh, series. Yeah, I, I loved it. The Iron Knight was just like a bonus. It's all told from Megan's point of view except this one's from Ash's point of view and I freaking loved it. I really love fair books, okay? You've got like the different, you've got the Summer Court, the Winter Court, court and then you obviously have the Iron Court, hence why it's called the like the Iron Face series and I just 
I just loved it. I thought it was awesome and personalities in this are great. They're fantastic. But yeah, no, it's an amazing series. I freaking loved it. The third series I have for you guys is probably going to be the one where people are going to go, no, Nicole. For some reason, a lot of people just didn't like this series, didn't like the books, but I freaking loved this series. And that is the Wolves of Mercy Falls series by Maggie Stevata. I know everybody prefers The Raven Cycle and as you guys, if you watched my previous video, it's on my, in my top five ever hyped books. I didn't like that series, but I freaking loved the Wolves of Mercy Falls series. Like personally, if you wanted to pick up a Maggie Stevata series, I would pick this one. And it features the first book, Shiver, the second book, Linger, and then the third book, which is Forever. Now there was also another book right here called Sinner, I'm in the way that was released several years later but I didn't like it as much because it focuses on a different character. So yeah this book series is about werewolves and it's Grace and Sam about their love story and like yeah Grace and Sam sort of kind of run into each other every summer and then that's how their story sort of evolves and I thought it was beautiful I loved it plus the writing is blue in this book and then it's green in the second one and then red in the next one but to me this was the Twilight's of werewolves, don't judge me for that. And that's, that's basically why I loved it, but I, I preferred it, I thought it was great. The fifth and final uh, book series that I recommend for you is the Starcrossed series by Josephine Angelini, which features Starcrossed Dreamless, and then the third and final book, which is Goddess. So basically this, this book series has to do with the Greek gods, and I can love the Greek gods, and basically this girl is it Hannah, Helen, damn it, should have known that with Helen of Troy. It's Helen of Troy and then like the princes and the men involved with that. They're all sort of like reincarnated over the years and it's happened again with Helen and she goes to this new town and she found, finds out that she's descended from them and there's all these you know extra powers that she has and she has to learn all about it. I really loved it. I thought it was amazing. I highly recommend it if you haven't picked it up. I know the American covers are a bit tacky but I think it's worth it. Like it has to have like the oracles and the gods and fate and everything is brought into it. I think it's really well done. If you've read the Covenant series by Jennifer L. Armantrout, you know that also brings in the Greek gods, but I think Josephine Angelini does it in a much better way. And I just preferred the characters and how everything was done in this world. So if you have read that series, I recommend you pick up this one because I think it's just a little bit better done. <laughs> okay guys, so they are the top five fantasy book series that I recommend you read. If you haven't read any of these books, please let me know in the comments down below if there are any that you would like to pick up now or if you have read any of these books. What did you think of them? I will see you guys next week for another video and uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye!